Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. In today's video, I want to focus on raid bosses and what you can do to deal as much damage as you can. Haran is one of the most difficult uh, raid bosses uh, in the game. And so I've come up with a team that I personally really enjoy using. And so hopefully this helps you along as well as you explore uh, what you can do to deal more damage to uh, to the boss here. But what we're going to do before we uh, do that is we're going to jump in and we're going to uh, do some redeemable codes. I do have three codes to give away this time because uh, Halloween is coming and the codes I have for Halloween expires on October 31st. All the codes I'm going to be giving will expire on the 31st. And so I'm going to give them early so you can have, have a chance to redeem them now. The first one I'm going to give you is going to be, uh, this one is T underscore GL underscore Halloween. Okay, so this is what you type in, T underscore GL underscore Halloween. And if you confirm that, you're going to get yourself a Nightmare Potion. These are worth 500,000 gold, so uh, it's something that you can use for yourself. And then I'm going to give you one more code, then we can uh, get the third one a little bit later. So let's go ahead and redeem the second one. So the second one is going to be uh, the fact that we are doing... Uh, raid boss fights so we're going to type in t underscore max underscore rb and then hits okay so t underscore max underscore rb underscore hits go ahead and confirm that and then you're going to get yourself a dragon key as well as 500 apples all right let's jump in uh to the boss here and talk about uh what we're going to do to get ourselves as much damage as we can. And so we're gonna take a look at the team uh, when we go and fight. And so we can see here, we got Streetblock, Najjar, Etril, Helica, and Masako. Masako is uh, one of the heroes that I really like using, and we're going to learn more about that. But before we do that, I actually do have a sponsored video like to introduce, so let's go ahead and uh, check that out. Today's video is sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lithus. Now this game has one of the most unique game mechanics I've ever seen, and the game looks great. If you haven't tried out Bloodline yet, now's the best time to do so because the game has just had this huge update. Its new hybrid system is mind-blowing. Use the QR code that you see on the screen, or use the link that's in the description of the video below to download and try out the game absolutely free and you can get an amazing starter pack. In Bloodlines, you can create your very own legendary champion by combining the bloodline of Lycans, Dragonborn, Demons, Elves, and much more. And this is how it works. You customize your champions through their unique marriage system to create over 800 unique different hybrids between any two bloodlines, the children or heirs inherit the talent, the traits and unique appearances that are passed down from the each family tree and merged into one. New fantasy characters are being released into game every month, which means that the possibilities are endless for you to seek out the best and the greatest hyper champion that suits your style. Speaking of characters with sleek designs, nothing beats this new vampire clan, the Accursed, which is coming to the game as a brand new lineage of your bloodline this Halloween. These vampires look amazing. They are the darkest and most terrifying assassins yet to be found in the world of Lithus, an undead clan that roasts alongside the dark elves from the ashes of their homeland's cataclysm. These units can not only nuke your enemy, but they're also strong enough to sustain themselves on the battlefield during longer fights. By participating in the Halloween event starting October 27th, you will be able to attain an accursed champion for free on the seventh day. So don't wait, download the game and try out now. You can use my link in the description below or you can scan the QR code that's on the screen right now. If you use either my QR code or the link, you're going to get a special starter pack that is worth $20, uh, it, which includes 10 energy potions, 100,000 gold coins, as well as 100 diamonds. And don't forget, on the seventh day, by participating in the Halloween event, you will get a free vampire champion. Download the game now and build your own unique champion. 
All right, so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we're gonna do. Um, you know what we're gonna bring into the fight here. So I'm just gonna say we're gonna bring in Skyron, our support dragon for slowdown to slow down Haron. Uh, alternatively, we can also bring in Bastet to reduce his damage. For this slowdown, it's less important for the damage uh, damage side. So I'm gonna bring in uh, Skyron to slow the dragon down. I'm also bringing in a uh, curse elixir because for this uh, for this setup. I, I need it, okay? And so I'm gonna probably spend a little bit more time than I normally would in fights. Like I'm gonna spend more time explaining things, uh, but hopefully this is helpful because I think there are some tips and tricks here that can be very useful, okay? Uh, feel free to skip near the end where uh, you see the end result, but most of the time in the beginning, I'm gonna explain a little bit. So our top priority here is to keep the purple gem away from um, from Haran at, you know, as much as we can. We want to try and do this while giving ourselves a little bit of advantage. And there are some situations where you want to forego matching uh, gems so that you can avoid drops. There's this uh, concept I learned from playing Othello where less is more. If you match less, then less gems will come down. There's less variance to the board, so the less ex unexpected things happen. Sometimes if you match a lot of gems, the board kind of comes down and then there's all kinds of matching going on and then you end up in a situation where the dragon now has a bunch of gems to match uh, where you may not want that. So that's just something to think about. But in this case, we do need to get rid of these two batches of purple gems and let's hope for the best and see what happens, okay? So there's no chance for the dragon to match anything and let's hope that he doesn't activate his skill, which he doesn't. But we got unlucky there. Did you see how the drop, the 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 despite our efforts the drop is what killed us but that's okay what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and um we're gonna make do with what we can okay and we're going to just match some red gems so that we can also get uh Najar to activate a skill so what we're gonna see here is um why i bring in uh the potion so we're gonna go ahead and activate an etro first so this whole setup depends on Masako having as much damage potential as possible. So increased uh, attack and increased critical damage. The thing is, she needs to be close to full health, okay? And so bringing in Helica, it will be able to do that, and she gives some mana. And so when you attack with Masako, notice that she doesn't have full health, but when you attack, you're going to heal, and then she'll be able to attack twice for a total of 56,000. Okay, and what's nice here is she also uh, can active. Uh, she can activate herself again. Well, I guess she doesn't have. Uh, let's see. I just matched. Yeah, she doesn't have twenty mana gain. So I I, I just matched twenty. Uh, I, I just matched uh, six, uh, five gems. I should have matched six for her. And let's see here. We don't have to worry about matching any of the um, purple gems right now but we do need to worry about it next turn. So this time, what we're gonna do, you, you wanna make sure you always activate Najar on uh, just the turn before Haran goes. And then now what we're gonna do is we're going to pay attention and see what happens here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move these purple gems out of the way so that we can reduce the chances of uh, purple gems coming down again. And so we have increased defense and increased attack. Okay, and so what we're going to do is I'm actually not going to use this uh, the, the potion just yet. I'm going to wait and see what happens in this next turn. And so I have I have a bunch of purple gems that's like all over the place. I can't really do anything with it. And so I'm going to do. I'm actually going to choose to match this set of blue gems here, and I'm going to get rid of this uh, purple stack here. Let's see if the uh, if Harald activates skills. He doesn't, so that's actually nice. And so you'll uh, let, let's go ahead and uh, you know see how much damage we can do with Masako when the act uh, when you know uh, increased defense is on. And notice I'm not using Helica right away because what happens is I also need to use Etro, and when I use Etro, I'm going to make her lose too much health. So I'm, I usually use it first, then I heal her up with uh, Helica. And so instead of 28, we down, we're now down to 20. Okay, so it's important for us to actually get rid of uh, the increased defense because we just lost about 16,000 in terms of damage there. Uh, but we need to, I think we need to wait a little bit. Okay, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure I match the red gem so that I can use, Hara, uh, use Najar again. You really have to pay attention to turns here. Okay, and 
I'm going to wait one turn before I use Masako's skill, okay? And so we're going to go ahead and use this. Again, this is where, you know, you do what you can, but you don't want to do any matches on the left side because you're going to increase the chances of um, Haran getting the purple match. So I'm just going to do a in-place swap here so nothing changes. Let's see if he activates the skill. So there you go. He starts activating the skill. If we had used our curse potion early, we would have wasted one and not be able to, uh, you know, account for this. And so instead, I'm going to use the elixir to get rid of three. The key things to get rid of is going to be the defense down uh, or defense up, and also reflect. If you have, if reflect is on there, you s you need to use it one more time. And unfortunately for us, reflect is the one that did not get taken out, so we need to use our third, um, you know, use it for the third time. But we do also have three stacks of cursed on it, so that's that's okay for us. All right, so I'm gonna speed up a little bit now. I think I've explained everything I can. Now it's all about gameplay. So let's go ahead and uh, see how much damage we can do near the end. And I'll I'll fast forward and I'll stop just before I start using potions. Okay, so we did the best we could. I wasn't able to get rid of the reflect here, unfortunately, but so far without using uh, the potions on Masako, I did use a couple on Najar just to make sure I can get the taunt going. Uh, we're at 532. This is against a five star, uh, a, a five star level six Harum boss. And unfortunately, because of Reflect, what's going to happen here is I'm going to attack and then I'm going to get damage. So I'm not going to be able to heal back up. So that is a little bit unfortunate. But what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, continue on and see how much we can do. Uh, how much we can do before we start using potions. So we're now on turn two. And this is really where we're going to uh, basically be at. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, start activating and so she's going to actually heal more than she deals it's just that she's not going to get the double damage okay but I'm gonna unload all of my potions in at this point and then see how much damage we end up with so we're basically at you know 20 each time instead of it is a big drop right instead of because we we, we, we um, because we couldn't get our full 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 health and uh, Haron has also uh, fortify, so less damage from special attacks, and because reflect, I couldn't uh, damage twice. This is why you know I was trying the best I could to actually um, activate my skills before him, but it Haran activated just before uh, I, I mistimed it. So in this situation, I actually lost a lot of potential damage output. I think it would have been okay for me to double this. So imagine uh, we went from 500 to 700. So that was about 200. I could have brought it up to about eight, 900,000 uh, with that if I had uh, timed myself correctly. And so that is the situation where, you know, I think that I could have done a lot better. But this is the general gameplay. 795. We're probably going to end with a little bit over 800,000. Okay, so we're at 804 and then um, 806. So Reflect really helps here. We gain, we gave ourselves, you know, a little bit of extra damage just from that. Um, but, you know, we're going to lose Reflect at this point, And so that is going to be the end of this fight. Okay, so I just go ahead and end it off. And we are at a total of 889,000. Okay, so that is sort of the, the way that you want to play against Haran. I think that I could have gone pushed this to over 1 million easily if I didn't have the reflect uh, still on the boss. So that, that was the unfortunate part. I wish I could have shown you me getting over a million on Haran, but uh, hopefully this helps you out. We're going to go ahead and get our last code. Okay, so the third code that I promised you, and that is going to be... I'm going to give you this one because I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it and that is going to be a Hefrana guide okay and so with Hefrana you're going to get yourself some green dust and also some green dummies all right, so that's going to be it for my video for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully, this has helped you out. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. And, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me anytime. So I look forward to having more of these different uh, raid boss type fights, more deeper analysis, and also tips and tricks. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye now.